So one of the problems I'm having with these 1986 tops, and it's something you probably won't even, might not even be able to see in the video, um, but uh, these are, this is uh, Dwight Evans from the, uh, uh, from one of the uh, uh, vending boxes that I've already opened. And again, it's probably hard to see, but the, the, the black on top is not as black as it could be. It looks kind of faded. And again, it, you may not be able to tell from the video, I'm not sure. But one of the things I did to kind of check that is I went ahead and bought a couple of inexpensive um, PSA graded 1986 cards. So I got a, a Willie Upshaw, which was the least expensive uh, PSA 10 I could find. Um, and then I got this uh, PSA 8 <coughs> Nolan Ryan. These were both each about 10 bucks a piece. So basically about the cost of uh, grading. Um, and uh, the Ryan, because it was, I wanted to see what a, uh, what a PSA 8 looked like. Um, <coughs> and also because uh, this is a card I potentially could keep. I don't care so much about Willie Upshaw. But I don't know whether it's even possible to tell, but the... When you look at it up close, the black at the top is much blacker. Well, I say much. I mean, it's certainly blacker. And you probably, I think you may be able to see the difference there. Um, that the, uh, that the, uh, the black on the Nolan Ryan looks black, whereas the black on the uh, Dwight Evans on the left looks like a really, really, really dark gray. And... I'm not sure what's going on there. I wonder if it might be um, something about because the uh, uh, these vending boxes are a little more exposed. I mean, the cards are not sealed up. I mean, they're in cardboard, but they're a little more exposed to, to the elements in that sense. Maybe there's a little bit of fading that goes on um, uh, that uh, happens more because they're not in, not wrapped in plastic. Maybe I just had, had bad luck. Maybe it's just something that happens with vending as opposed to, um, as opposed to say, wax packs or rack packs. So I've done a, done, done a couple things about this. Um, number one, I've bought a couple more uh, vending boxes. Again, these are relatively, these are about you know, 20, roughly 25 bucks a piece, so uh, not too expensive. And the other thing is I have bought some, some rack packs and I'll open those up in a different video. But when I, what I want to do here is I just want to go ahead and open up uh, one of these um, different vending boxes just to get a feel for whether or not, um, whether or not uh, I just got some bad luck with the, uh, with the boxes I have, or just that's uh, something inherent in the uh, boxes, or just what. So now these, no, oh, these are in much worse shape. The corners are really, I mean, these haven't been searched, but the corners are, you know, the corners look really dinged up. So that's interesting. Now yeah, we'll see how that, <laughs> see how that goes. These, these. These are, yeah, the corners here are really, really bad here. Um, but let's see what I got. And there's some, certainly some warping, but the corners are, corners are pretty damaged on these. So, what I want to do is, let me just get a little far into this. And what I'm doing is, is I'm taking a close look at these. Uh, let's bring the, uh, let's bring the Ryan in again. Now in this case, the color is a little closer. It's still not as quite as dark as the as the Ryan is. And remember, this Ryan is only a PSA eight. Um, the centering is actually pretty good on this card. Uh, there may be just a hint of corner issues. There's a couple of print uh, defects, small print defects on there, and I'm guessing that's probably what didn't help the grade. The back, I think, is probably good enough, although, I don't know, maybe it's off-center enough to take off a grade. I don't know. But I'm looking here, and, and, uh, 
and uh, I'm just not I'm not sure whether these are really any yeah these 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 don't still don't seem to be as dark as the Nolan Ryan and as I said these unfortunately the uh, there's a lot of corner damage on a lot of these so this uh, this is not going to be a very good uh, very good box um, There's Nazi Smith. I mean, I think that I don't think this has been searched or, or anything been done with them, but but yeah, I'm still seeing that the uh, that the the blacks just aren't as black. Um, the other thing that could, this could happen is that surface wear from you know contact with other things, you know, if they move around a little bit. But I don't, you know, I'm not sure how that could happen to that degree inside of a inside of a case inside of a box. No, well, that one maybe seems a little bit, perhaps a little bit darker. And some of the little white flecks you see on there are is uh, is cardboard dust on these cards, which uh, which possibly can be gently uh, removed. But I don't know that that still doesn't seem as dark as that Nolan Ryan. So I'm not really sure. What I can do about this, even even aside from this uh, this box uh, having a lot of uh, damaged cards, they're they're better down at this end where they were where they weren't uh, so uh, off center. So there may be some good, still may be some decent cards there, except for the part where uh, um, they don't they don't seem to be uh, printed as well. And that's the other thing, of course, too, is that. It may it may also be a printing issue. Maybe uh, maybe a lot of the a lot of the cards just weren't the, the blacks weren't printed very dark. That can certainly uh, that can certainly happen. Now this one this one suffers from you know a lot of the same there. I mean I think I mean I'm sure what this is is that as they stick out if these things have been moved around a lot it can damage the uh, um, damage the the cards. Let me see what's going on here. Let me get a little into this before we get out of the ones that are damaged by bending. So there's a Bob Welch. I'm just looking really closely at them. I don't know. The blacks still don't seem necessarily super dark. I mean, definitely not that one. That one, that one still, that definitely has that dark gray appearance. So maybe that's just one of those things with the, uh, with the 1986. I mean, certainly chipping on the edges, I'm not, you know, not, not, wouldn't be not surprised about that or chipping on the corners. Um, but the whole kind of faintness, and here's one that's really, I mean, that one is just really, really poorly printed and that's just an exaggerated example of uh, what almost all of these are showing so well, that one looks a little better it's Tony Fernandez who uh, just passed away recently very recently and there's another one that looks really bad very poorly printed it's Doug DeSensei so I don't know what the answer is. Uh, again, I do have some rack packs that I'm going to open at some point. Hopefully, those will look a little better. Um, but uh, otherwise, this this uh, experiment with the 19 uh, 1986 cards uh, may uh, may pretty much be over. I was hoping to be able to find some find some uh, kind of hidden gems in there. I mean, it's not a very none of the cards are super valuable, which is one of the reasons I started with it. But uh, it looks like maybe it's uh, more difficult to find uh, decent cards than I was hoping.